This episode is sponsored by The Real Cost. If you vape, you could be inhaling toxic metals that can damage your lungs. From the publishers of games about watching bones break in real time, and the developers of the zombie shooter you probably wasted a chunk of your youth playing, comes a new but familiar IP that epitomizes not fixing something that ain't broke. Back for Blood. Bash into the world of Back for Blood, the very obvious spiritual successor to their Valve hit. As Turtle Rock, after trying to go for a sort of new coke situation with their weird monster shooter Evolve, doubles back down and just gives everyone what they initially wanted 10 years ago. Just more Left for Dead. Same, same, but different, but still same. That despite the added systems, revamped specials, and new weapon mods, still fulfills the same old need to destroy about a million zombies. Because all our dumb animal brains really want are the same old jingly keys, but in a slightly different color. Look, all I've got left are vague memories of what life was like before filing taxes, and I'm gonna hold on to every single scrap. Shoot desperately at the numerous bodies hurling themselves at you constantly as you choose from a new group of survivors that are way too plucky for the situation that they're in. Do we have a plan? Or are we, you know, hanging it as usual? Then navigate the ruins of a vaguely explained apocalypse that's inhabited almost entirely by extremely wormy zombies to get from one side of the map to the other while unloading a bunch of bullets into anything that is a vaguely human silhouette or actually just anything at all. As you scrounge through any open rooms in hopes of finding new resources for your rapidly declining health and ammo on the way to the next safe house or objective, all while being slowly chipped away by the hordes of dead boys or just completely boned by the five random specials that spawn behind you somehow. As you and your team try to work in perfect harmony like a phalanx made of guns, but instead immediately turns into a shit show that falls apart in real time. In a familiar formula that feels like riding a bike, right after giving yourself a mild concussion. Because if there's one thing that'll make you feel good about your terrible FPS skills, it's a game where there's so many dudes, it's basically impossible to miss. Dive in to the newest feature of Back for Blood, the deck building system, that allows you to make custom loadouts that manipulate your stats in all manner of ways to counteract the corruption cards that are designed to make sure you have a bad time. As you collect supply points from your various runs, to unlock more cards for different supply lines, and finally cobble together a bunch of different cards that really enhance your style of play. Then, much like any deck building system, realize that your custom deck is kind of crap, and just copy a build you saw on YouTube, which you're definitely going to need to do if you want to play a harder difficulty anytime soon, because the difficulty is balanced worse than the North Korean judicial system, as going from recruit to veteran is the difference between playing tag and being drafted into a world war and nightmare. In a system that brings a surprising amount of variety to the game if you're that kind of crunchy nerd, as well as another thing people on the internet can yell at you for sucking at. Now the Call of Duty bros and the Yu-Gi-Oh kids can tell me they're my new stepdad. Prepare for the most brutal difficulty that you'll face in Back for Blood, playing with other people, where a literal decade hasn't changed a single thing about the multiplayer experience as they shoot you constantly, get in the way of your shots to melee something, immediately leave the queue, shoot literally every bird and hazard that could possibly exist, run off by themselves just to get pinned and then pummel to death instantly, and mess around outside the safe room for no reason, in a design that turns the saying hell is other people into a video game, as the real challenge turns out to be playing with randoms who are more willing to leave you for dead as their mics peak like they're currently in a tornado. It's cold, it's cold. Seriously though, it's 2021, get a better mic, or just don't put the whole thing in your mouth. So pump that shotgun and come back for blood in a game that will finally scratch that itch for a simple co-op shooter that doesn't require you to fight in a small circle. Well, unless you play the verses, I guess. But it's also basically the same as when somebody tries to make a new quake exclusively for old dudes. You know, I know this is starting to feel like a personal attack, but don't worry, we're going through this together. Starring Danny Rojas, La Blood James, Tank Girl, Mom of Anarchy, Proud Asian Parents, Milton, Hat Joel, The Girl in the Hawker's Web, and Worms Armageddon, Left for Dead 3, No Infringement Edition. Finally, a skin collection that I can relate to, because nothing says immersion like being a middle-aged man in khakis.
Vaping can expose you to toxic metals like nickel, chromium, and lead that can damage your lungs. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. That's how I roll. Fast, loose, and out of control. If you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. My fix-it power has been unleashed. Unleash the power.